So you are trying to log into WhatsApp, but you are greeted with this error message. You need the official WhatsApp to log in. If you have encountered this frustrating message, let's troubleshoot this together and get you back to chatting with your friends, family and loved ones in no time. So guys, it's me again, Gideon, your favorite virtual assistant and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I'll be taking you through 5 stages that would help fix this error in no time. So let's dive right in. The first step is to ensure that you are using the official WhatsApp application downloaded from a trusted source such as the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Avoid using third party or modified versions of WhatsApp as they may not be recognized as an official app by WhatsApp servers. Do not fret because I'm very much aware that some of you watching this video at this point are actually making use of an unofficial WhatsApp with the likes of FM and GBs. So if you fall into this category, kindly stick around with me on this video and at a particular point on this video, I'll be giving you a trick on what to do in order to bypass that error. So once you verify that you have the official WhatsApp installed on your device, let's move on to the next step. Sometimes this error can occur due to an outdated version of WhatsApp. Check if there are any updates available for your WhatsApp on your device app store. If there is any update available, go ahead and download the update. Updating to the latest version can often resolve compatibility issues and errors like the one you are experiencing. So guys, if you're watching this video at this point, it shows you are finding value in this content. And I will kindly request you to give this video a thumbs up and also you can leave a comment in the comment section telling me what you feel about this video and also tell me where you are watching from. And as you can see, almost 100% of people watching my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So I'll kindly request you to subscribe to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you get notified each time I post amazing content like so. And I'll be leaving a link to my WhatsApp group. Feel free to join my WhatsApp group in case you have any technical related question. You can ask me if you're having any issue with your social media account. You can reach out to me through that group. Send in your questions and I'll gladly assist. And if you feel secure chatting me privately, you can chat me on WhatsApp with the number on the screen or you can reach out to me on my social media account. My sincere apologies for taking some portion of your time on this. So back to the tutorial properly. If you're still encountering the error after verifying the application and updating it, the next step is to clear the cache and data of the WhatsApp application. This process may vary depending on your device, but generally you can find these options in the settings menu under apps or applications. If you're an Android user, you can easily do this. Kindly locate the WhatsApp you are having an issue with. You long press on the WhatsApp just like so, then you click the option that says App Info. Once you click the App Info option, this interface comes up, then you click on storage, just like this. Once you click on storage, you see I have cleared my cache already. Then you see we have the clear storage option. My cache has been cleared already, but for yours, you need to click on the clear cache and clear it. So now I'll be clearing my storage, just like so. You have this option comes up and mind you, clearing the data will delete your chat history and reset some of the apps settings so i would advise you back up your chat before clearing your data to learn how to back up your whatsapp chat you can click on the link here or the link in my description below so now we have successfully cleared the cache of this whatsapp and also the storage which is the data so if the error persists after clearing the cache and data the next troubleshooting step is to reinstall WhatsApp. Uninstall WhatsApp from the device, then head to your app store and reinstall the latest version of WhatsApp. After reinstalling, log in with the phone number and verify your account as usual. This fresh installation often resolved any underlying issue with the app. So guys, for those of you making use of an unofficial WhatsApp with the likes of FM and GBs and you're also making use of it on an Android device, this portion is for you. So you head onto your device just like so, then you open your Play Store. So once you're on your Play Store like so, you click on the icon at the top right hand corner just like this. So once you click on the icon, this interface opens up for you. Then you click on Play Protect. As you can see, we we'll click on Play Protect. So once you're on play protect like this, you click on the gear icon at the top right hand corner that it settings just like so. Once you click on it, this option comes up. So what I'll advise you to do 
you turn off the play protect option that is scan apps with play protect you turn it off you get this um prompt that comes up like so then you turn off the play protect it will request for your security then you grant it and also note that when you turn off play protect in google play store you are essentially disabling google's built-in security features designed to scan your apps for potential threats such as malwares and harmful softwares so the play protect sees fm and gb whatsapp as threats thereby sending feedback to the official whatsapp servers that is a clone or a threat of such application on this device that's why you are being banned from using your gb and fm whatsapp so once you turn off these settings the google play protect will not be able to scan the application on your phone and thereby will not be able to send feedback to the official whatsapp servers and thereby you'll be able to use your fm and gb whatsapp on your device and here are some few things you should note when you are turning off the google protect on your device So if you've tried all the steps mentioned and you're still unable to log in due to the you need the official WhatsApp to log in error, it's time to reach out to WhatsApp support for assistance. So for you to contact WhatsApp support for further assistance, you can go to your web browser like so and you type in web.whatsapp.com. You can do this on your PC or on your uh, mobile phones. Once you're on the web.whatsapp page like this, you click on the need help to get started. A new interface opens up like so and once you're on this page like this you scroll down and you click on accounts and account bands so once you're on this page like this you scroll down and you click on account bands once you click on this you click on about account bands for unofficial app so once you click on this you can go through to read about the unofficial apps so once you do that you can click on the contact us option like this once you click on the contact us a page opens up for you like this then you click on this that is the uh, whatsapp messenger support once you click on messenger support like so this option comes up and here you are about to lay your complaints for you to do that you can feel free to read all of this for your digestion then you impute the phone number you are having an issue with once you impute the phone number you are having an issue with you impute your mail because this is where you get response from whatsapp about the complaint you have lodged once you do that you tell them how do you use your whatsapp and android phone then here you type in the message on how or the issue you are having on your whatsapp account so i have a template here on my sticky note you, i can copy this um you can feel i'll be leaving this in my description below so you can feel free to edit this the way you want and once you're satisfied with what you want you can send this message directly to whatsapp once you do this and your email is correct you get a feedback from whatsapp as to this regard and there you have it by following these troubleshooting steps you should be able to resolve the you need the official whatsapp to log in error and get back to using whatsapp without any issue